What is up everyone? How are you all doing? In today's video, I will be demonstrating to you how to create mods in Project Era. This video will be divided into two sections. The first section will show you how to create mods for non-skin cosmetics such as pickaxes, gliders, etc. And the second section will show you how to create mods for skins. The timestamps for both of these sections will be in the description below. Before creating mods, there are a few things you must install. The first thing is FMod. You can install it from this website and I will have the link in the description of this video. You also need to install U4Pack and U-Acid GUI. Both of these things will be available in the description below. You'll also need this spreadsheet and this file which shows you the AES keys for your specific version. The first thing you're going to do is open F model and you're going to select directory and then click selector. From here you're going to choose your packs folder. So for me this is where it's at 4.1 Fortnite game content packs and you're going to select folder. Then you're going to click OK. Next you're going to click on the AES selector. From this site you will choose the correct key for your version. So for me, I'm using version 4.1, which is this key right here. You're going to copy it, and then you're going to go back here, paste it in, click OK, and you'll go back here and click Load. As you can see, you have it now loaded. Before starting the mod, I want to show you guys that I currently do not have any mods installed on my current version of project era so if I go into my packs folder as you can see I have no mods installed currently the first mod I'm going to do is going to show you how to replace the standard issue backlink which is found in the free pass with love rangers love wings so for that you're going to first go to your spreadsheet and look for the item you want to obtain or the cosmetic that you want to get so for me, I have found the love wings right here. And then you'll also need to find the item that you want to replace or get rid of. So for me, it is the tactical jungle or standard issue backlink. So for backlinks, you're going to go into your Fortnite game, into content. Then you're going to click on characters, character parts, and backpacks. Now for pickaxes and gliders it's different but I will give you the path for each cosmetic in the description below. So you'll know for a glider which path or which directory to use for emotes and for pickaxes. You'll then go into packages and search for the item you want. So I want the love wings which as you guys can see here is Cupid so I'll just type that in and you see it right here as you can see right here we have mail underscore commando underscore cupid backpack dot asset this is essentially the item that i want to obtain so i'm going to click on here and i'm going to click export raw data and it'll export it if i open up my f model exports folder you will find that in characters, character parts, backpacks, I have the backlink right here. Next, I want to find the item that I want to replace it with. So in this case, it's the standard issue, which is called tactical jungle. So I'm going to go right here, find tactical jungle. And then I'm going to left click, copy package name without extension. I'm then going to go here. I'm going to rename both of these files to the name of the backpack. I'm then going to open this up with U Acid GUI. Make sure that your version selected is 4.20. I'm going to go into my name map and then I'm simply going to look for the name of this item. I have found it right here and then I will just replace it with the file name for tactical jungle and I can save this if I go back here I'll find that I have two backup files I don't need those so I can delete them now I'm ready to pack this up so I'm going to open u4 pack right here 
and then I'm going to copy the Fortnite game folder here and you'll simply just drag and drop it into the packer you click enter it'll run click enter again it's finished now you have your pack folder right here it has your pack next you're going to go into your packs folder so for me that is fortnite game content packs and then you're going to copy over this file right here the pack chunk 0 slash windows client dot sig you're just going to copy it here and paste it next you're going to rename these two files but the important thing to keep in mind is the name has to be pack chunk and then whatever you want to call this so for me it's going to be love wings you can call this anything you want slash windows client these two files have to have the same name and it has to start with pack chunk then the name you want to give to this pack slash windows client dot sig and i'm going to save this and i'm simply going to move it into my packs folder now i'm going to open up the game and show you that it's working so i'll see you guys when we're in the lobby okay guys we just loaded into the lobby and as you can see I currently have the standard issue backlink equipped, but it is showing the Love Rangers Love Wings. I'm going to load up into a game and show you guys that this works in game as well. See you guys in the spawn island. As you guys can see, I just loaded into a public game and you can tell by seeing that the Love Wings are working and this does work in game. This isn't a private game as you can tell it's a public game. So as you guys saw, it works and everything. Let me load back into F model and show you how to do this same mods but for skins. See you guys in F model. Okay guys, we have now loaded into F model and for this mod I will be showing you how to replace the Rust Lord skin with the Reaper skin, the tier 100 skin from chapter 1 season 3 battle pass. So the thing you need to understand about skins is that they are composed of three parts, a body, a head and the helmet so it isn't just going to be as easy as replacing the name of the file like we did for the backlink for this you first want to start off by going into your content folder then you're going to go into Athena you're going to go into the heroes folder then you're going to choose meshes bodies and right here you're going to go into your you're going to go into your spreadsheet and search for the skin that you want. So in my case, I want the Reaper, which should be right about here. Here it is. Its code name is commando underscore m underscore assassin. So I'm just going to search for assassin here. And as you can see, we have the body for the Reaper skin. I'm going to export that like I did before. Next. I'm going to search for my exports folder, open it up, heroes, meshes, bodies, there we go. As you guys can tell, Rustlord has the name commando underscore m underscore scavenger. So I'm just going to search for scavenger and then I'm going to copy the name without the extension. I'm going to go back here and like we did before, rename both of these like so. I'm then going to open this up with U asset GUI and I'm going to search for the old name which is right here and replace it with the new one save it and we are now done with the body if I were to pack this right now what would happen is I would end up with a skin that has the head of Rust Lord but the body of the Reaper which is obviously not what we want so for that i'm going to need to find the helmet for the reaper now as you guys can tell the reaper does not have a helmet so in this case what i'm going to do is look for the empty helmet file if your skin that you're trying to recreate has a helmet then you guys are going to need to find that helmet so for that you're going to go into characters like we did before character parts this time we're going to look for hats and in my case, I have no hat, so I'm just going to do empty helmet. Extract this. 
and we're good. Now I need to find the helmet for Rustlord, which in my case, once again, I'm just going to search for scavenger. There it is, copy without extension. Now I'm going to go into content, characters, character parts, hats, rename both of these like so. I'm then going to open this one up, look for the name empty helmet and replace it like so. Save and delete the backup files. At this point we have the reaper's body, we remove the helmet but we don't have the correct head. So for that, I'm going to go into character parts and in this case, I'm choosing male because this is a male skin. If you're using a female skin, you'd obviously go into female. So I'm going to open up the male directory and you are going to find the head for your character in the medium folder. Same thing for female, it's also in medium. You're going to go into heads and once again, I'm going to search for assassin like so and there it is. I'm going to export this and go into male medium heads there we are then you guys are going to search for the default head which is right here m underscore med underscore soldier head zero one you're going to copy it without the extension and go here rename both of these files open this file up go into the name map and replace the name save it delete your backup files and that is it once again we're going to use u4 pack to pack this so i'm just going to copy it in here and i'm going to use packer like so enter there we go i'm going to open up my packs folder like last time go into packs copy my sig folder paste and I'm going to rename both of these. I'm just going to call this one Reaper. Enter. Move it into my packs. And now I'm going to load up my game and show you guys that this does work in the lobby. We have now loaded into the lobby. And you guys can see we currently have the Reaper skin. In my locker you can see Rust Lord is equipped. But it is showing Reaper. So the mod obviously worked. I'm going to load into a game and show you guys that it also works in game. So I will see you guys when we load up. As you guys can see, I'm currently in the spawn island and it is showing up. It works. This works in game. This is a public match, not a private server or anything like that. You can see that it works in the lobby and in the game. Okay, guys, we're back in F model and I just wanted to give you guys a few tips on creating skins. So the important thing that you have to remember is this works for all skins this also works with defaults you don't have to use skins from the free pass but i just like to do it that way for defaults same procedure you're going to look for your skin so let's say you want to replace ramirez with say the red knight so in this case it's cid 001 you're going to go into content athena heroes meshes bodies and you're just going to search for that one right here as you can see and you're going to do the same procedure you'll also need to find the heads now unfortunately this spreadsheet doesn't give you the exact locations for all the heads and the right names so it's just going to take a bit of trial and error to get it right if you want to create for example a skin like the black knight or the red knight skins that have helmets instead of using the empty helmet file like i did you're simply going to search for your helmet in content characters character parts you're going to go into hats and just find it so if i type for example black knight you can see right here hat underscore m underscore commando black knight so obviously this is the helmet for black knight and you're going to download it and use it just like i showed you in this video okay guys that about wraps it up for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like if you found it helpful please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye